What's up YouTube, Team Deception 9 here with another deck profile for you guys. Um, this is the third time recording it, first time was an alarm going off in the background, the second time was someone deciding to rev up some kind of motorcycle or whatever in the background. So, I mean, it's a cool story. But anyways, I'm just going to kind of go over this deck real quick, um, and explain a few things here and there, um, and yeah. Uh, keep in mind this is something that I built a while back, I kind of only changed a couple cards in here to, you know, adjust to the current format, which was Fiendish Chains being swapped out for Breakthroughs, just because Breakthroughs is kind of a better card in the Evil Swarm matchup. Um, so I mean there's that, so yeah, let's just kind of go over the deck before someone else decides to make noise, and then I have to re-record the entire thing all over again anyways. Um, so yeah, monsters we have 3 Silent Psychic Wizards, 2 TG Rush Rhinos, 3 Serene Psychic Witches, 3 Psychic Commanders, 3 TG Warwolves, for whatever reason they have the anime art on here, um, 2 Hush Psychic Clerks, 1 TG Striker, 2 Esper Girls, and 1 Psychic Jumper. Spells we have 1 Heavy Storm, 1 Dark Hole, 1 Pot of Avers, 1 Monster Reborn, 2 MSTs, 1 Book of Moon, and 3 Emergency Teleports for traps. We have 2 Bottomless Trap Holes, 2 Torrential Tributes, 2 Breakthrough Skills, 2 Compulsory Evacuation Device, 1 Solemn Judgment, and 1 Solemn Warning. For the extra deck we have 1 Mist Worm, 1 Scrap Dragon, 1 Stardust Dragon, 1 Black Rose Dragon, 1 Atreya Barkeon, 1 Psychic Nightmare, 1 TG Hyper Librarian, 1 Magical Android, 1 Atreya Beast, 1 Ally Justice Catastor, 1 TG Wonder Magician, 1 Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, 1 Lovier the Sea Dragon, 1 Zen Mains, and 1 Gachi Gachi Gun Tetsu. For the, okay, like, my thought process for this deck was the fact that um, between Wizard, Witch, and uh, Clerk, you can special summon a lot of cards to kind of allow the Warwolf to go off. Uh, Striker is an Earth level 2 tuner that works well with the Serene Psychic Witch, the Clerk, um, things like that. It's kind of the same thing with the Esper Girls and Jumper. They kind of work to make the Bar- or not the Barkeon, the Beast. They also help make the Barkeon with the Wizard, which is really good as well. Um, you can also make this in the deck because if you have this or this and you have Warwolf, like you can teleport this out, bring this out, and then synchro for her, blow up a back row, and then you have a synchro tuner to use, um, which is also really good in my opinion. Um, Serene Psychic Witches are like your best card of the deck, like it's just amazing, you just set it or whatever, or just ram it into something, get a free monster during your opponent's standby phase or your standby phase or you know whatever, because you banish you know, a card from your deck you know, shit like that. Um, not to mention you get free cards off of this, you get free cards off of all the TGs, because when they're destroyed they search out one that's other than themselves. Um, a 2100 wall that you can use to bring back a monster whenever it's sent from the field to the graveyard. Things like that. This, it's really, like, whenever I played this deck, I did really well with it. Um, I never really had much of a problem. I think here and there, like, I would draw the Psychic Jump or whatever when I didn't really want to have it. Um, so I mean, yeah, and using this to bring it from your hand is kind of retarded. Um, I left the MSTs in here just because there are the rogue decks that you're going to still have to deal with, um, you know, and there's also, like, the breakthrough skills and whatnot that you don't want your opponent using against you, because I don't think anyone's really using Phoenix Chain right now. Book of Moon is just amazing right now for the fact that you can, you know, stop Ixies plays, you can flip something big face down like your Clerk, or if they're trying to destroy something that has to be face up at resolution, you can use this, put it face down, and then it doesn't die, things like that. Um, this deck does banish a lot, but a lot of the stuff that gets banished usually gets recycled back to the graveyard, so Avers is still a very good card to keep in this deck, um, just for the fact that you want to get your TGs back to your deck. Your Psychics are going to be swat, like I said, they're going to be bouncing from your graveyard to your remove from play to your field so there's that um for traps like i said the only thing i really needed to change was the phoenix chains for breakthroughs because breakthrough skills right now um pretty much superior to phoenix chain just for the fact that it can be used on your turn as well so you basically use it to negate two effects if you really want to um, I feel like I should explain the Heavy Storm Dark Hole. Again, this is kind of the same thing with MSTs, the Rogue decks, they're still there. And this deck's not exactly like Evil Swarms and a few other decks that don't really need Heavy Storm or Dark Hole right now. Just for the fact that, like, I mean, you know, because this deck right here could have some serious problems with, like, decks that play macro, um, things like Dino Rabbit or anything that does the Rabbit Engine, you know, with the dinosaurs and shit for Logia and whatnot. That's proven to be a problem, too, with Dolka negating these, these, I, can't, I don't know, I guess you can negate this, but no reason to, really. Um, negate your Warwolves, all that shit, like, Dolka can be a major pain in the ass for this deck. 
So using things to keep it off the field or negate it or whatever are very necessary. Um, Mistworm is an iffy card. I've been considering taking it out for Thought Roller just because of how playable um, Breakthrough, Compulsory, and a few other cards are right now. Um, but Mistworm is also a good card to have in here just because like you can have this and then you get something off of this and then you'd have you know a way of making a 9. So I mean it's just there for that. Uh, Nightmare gets really really big and it's not hard to call correctly with this right now because if you're in the Prophecy matchup you call Spell you're going to probably have a 3400 Psychic Nightmare sent on the field. In the Dragon Ruler matchup you'll have a 3400 Psychic Nightmare. Um, it's just really ridiculous for that. Um, and I don't think I really need to explain much else. Uh, this summons a lot of level 3s faster than any other level. That's why I have more more rank 3s than anything else. Um, I only play 5 level 4s. I think this is actually very similar to the Dragon or yeah, the Dragoonity deck that I did yesterday. Um, it's kind of just there for the in case they have the 800 or less life points and you want to have the option to kill. And Gachi's there because you're playing enough level 2s that can summon really easily and really quickly to kind of overlay for, and getting extra boost isn't that bad. I mean, a, what, 22-2300 wizard is really good. So, I mean, and then there's the fact that he becomes 2400 under Gachi when he's attacking, so there's that as well. Um, but yeah, this is about as long, maybe shorter than the one I did yesterday, so, I mean, I guess people don't, well, I, I'm pretty sure that people don't like really, like, ridiculously long videos explaining shit, so I guess this is kind of a good thing, but, uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of the deck in the description, or yeah, in the description, in the comments below, if you like the deck, then make sure to give the video a thumbs up, uh, and even if you didn't like it, be sure to give the video a like, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and share the video with your friends, so until next week, because I am missing this weekend as well, which sucks ass, but whatever. Um, until next week, uh, you know, uh, you can just, you know, stay tuned, I guess. Um, if you are impatient and want to watch other videos, I do have my Let's Play channel, The Pokey Gamer. I have an an or not an annotation, but like a little thing in all of my videos that pops up that shows a video. You know, one of those things that shows up a video or whatever. Um, you can click that, it'll take you over to my other channel, and you could sub there. It's kind of just my introduction video for that channel, but you can, you know, find it through that, or you can find it through my sub box on my, on like, on my actual channel page. Um, because, yeah, I do day or weekday uh, LP videos over there, like every weekday. So, um, yeah, there's that. So, until next time, this is Team Deception09 signing out.